All right. All right, third nigga in the news is a bit. A bit. Okay, I I want Courtney to really touch in, touch in on this next one because this is some special shit for bitches right here. Let me focus. Let me flow and glow right here. <laughs> A bitch from Los Angeles writes the ball smack. She say, ball smack, I love you, nigga. I've been fucking with you for years. Anyway, a bitch has found herself in a bizarre situation. I was fucking with a loser, nigga, because I needed some good dick. But it's, but soon, but, but soon, his overall weakness as a nigga overpowered the good dick, Woo! so I fired the nigga. Woo-hoo! Everything was cool at first, but the nigga won't go away. I admit, I fucked him once or twice, but I haven't done it in a while. This nigga talking about calling child protective services on a bitch. <laughs> this nigga popped up at the job. Oh what can God. a bitch do? I don't want to send this nigga to jail. No. Okay, first. All right. <laughs> Let me flow it, Glow. You know, this is a common thing for a lot of bitches out here in Southern California. Well, it's a lot of, it's a common thing for bitches in America. It's, you know, a lot of niggas get hit with good pussy, man, and they can't cut it loose. That dynamite. Go. The pussy is just like drugs. The nigga just overwhelmed by the pussy. And you take the pussy away and the nigga can't accept it. It's just irrational behavior, irrational thought. Okay, let me let me just say a few things that some bitches think. Take into consideration, because there's a lot of bitches out here doing good, having money, and you need some dick, and you, and you fuck a nigga, and you think it's cool, but then the nigga, you can't throw the nigga away when you're done with him. What a lot of bitches need to do is start owning guns, and let it be known <laughs> that you own guns by having a gun out, rubbing on it, uh, cleaning it. Going to the gun range, talking about it, talking about shit you bought for your gun, new bullets. Just mention this shit in jest with a nigga. You know, why you laid up, finished fucking. Just be like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the gun range today. What? Work out some Wait, shit. What are you gonna do what? what? But please believe me, a nigga hear you say that shit, a nigga be like, like uh... nigga, go to the gun. I don't even really go to the gun range. No matter how crazy a nigga is. He is aware that you own guns. Okay. Even if you lying, I suggest you lie before you just not have a gun. Okay, another thing you could do. Now, I know that you don't want to involve law enforcement, but at the end of the day, if you're the bitch that can't protect yourself, you're going to have to go ahead and tell on a nigga, call the police, and be like, look here, this nigga is irrational and I can't control it. Now, me personally, I don't want you to put a nigga in jail. So, if you don't have no killers on your team, I don't really know what to tell you because a lot of times you can just, you know, let your brother know, your cousin know, some, some, some niggas that's about that life, go holler at that nigga because nine times out of ten, he really don't want to go the distance. A lot of niggas don't want to really go the distance. Me. Niggas act like they want to go the distance, but it's, niggas don't want to go the distance. You know what I'm saying? And then, now nah, this is some weird shit. Now nah, I'm gonna tell you now. The homies was talking about this shit. I don't know if niggas is real about it, but niggas was talking about having, having some, having some, having some, having some protect a bitch services on deck. Protect a bitch services. Real nigga protect a bitch services. What you do is you give them niggas like about 300 and this nigga will go see whatever nigga you having a problem with no matter what. You can be like, hey, I'm having problems with this nigga. You pay this nigga 300 and for a period of two months, this nigga will keep all niggas off of you for three months. I mean, for two months. Real nigga protective services. I don't know if it's real. They was talking about it. 
said, nigga, I will, I will go, I will go, I will go see good. a nigga. I will go see a nigga. I will let him know what hood I'm from. <laughs> I will let him see the heat. I will be like, nigga, I just got out. I heard you was, you know, my bitch say you don't want to leave, nigga. I just got the pen, nigga. I don't, I, nigga, I don't want no problems, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> I don't know if they real though. They say they gonna do it. They <laughs> sound good on everything. On everything. So bitch, get a, get a, get a, uh, uh, what's that? What they call that? A restraining order. Get a restraining order or something, bitch. I, I, I'm, you know, or uh, get a new nigga and tell him about it, and hopefully he'll handle it for you. Courtney, what's your? I, I've been talking and talking. What you think about that type? Of thing? First and foremost, be honest with yourself. You ain't fuck him once. <laughs> Show ain't fuck him twice. If that nigga knows where you live, if he knows where you work, you ain't fuck him once, and you ain't fuck him twice. Be honest with yourself. First and foremost, she said I'm not she gonna was lie. Fuck him in my lot, but I think like after she fired him, she gave him a couple of consolation fucks. When you walk into my room in my home, I have my gun range target in clear sight with head and chest shot. When you walk into my room, so I absolutely agree with you on the on, on the gun stand. Got it. Got to protect yourself. That's all I'm saying. Um. But that he don't care about disturbing your peace, disturbing his shit. Get a restraining order if you got if you if you really really have to call the cops. Like if you if you feel like you're scared inside or some kind of type of shit, or you think you're in fucking harm, I suggest you call the cops because too much shit in reality is going on these days. Bitch, if you don't think it's that serious, stop complaining. 